We're gonna do a DIY oil change for a Honda Grom SF. Throw some paper down underneath in case we drip any oil. The newspaper keeps the garage floor clean. These are the metric sockets. Here's a torque wrench we're gonna use. Some paper towels are for cleanup. A drain pan to collect the old spent motor oil. We're going to double check, make sure that socket's correct. Confirm that the 17 millimeter socket is the right one. We're going to add it to the torque wrench. We're going to set the torque wrench to go counterclockwise to loosen the drain bolt. Once it's loose, you can unscrew it with your hand. We're going to get a new crush washer here wipe down that area and remove the drain bolt. I use a paper towel so the oil doesn't get all over my glove. The spent motor oil is really funky. We're gonna wrap up that paper towel in another paper towel fragment and then keep that. We can use this to wipe down the old washer, clean up the bolt. We'll double wrap it, wipe down that oil drip. We're gonna clean the old drain bolt, make sure all that funky stuff is gone sits on the bottom of the bike so the bolt gets kind of funky. Alright, now we're going to wipe down our hands and we're going to tip the grom back and forth. This helps to liberate oil from the inside of the crankcase. I'm not exactly sure why. I think it has something to do with the oil spinner and the, the way the case is assembled, but I find that tipping it back and forth around the balance point and then holding it at different points. That seems to really help drain out all the old oil. Uh, in reality, I did this for a few minutes. I've sped this along uh, with time lapse so that you can see the process faster. The longer you do this, the more thorough it is, the more old oil you get out of the engine. That's better for the engine's long life if you plan on keeping the bike. We're going to install a new crush washer on the drain bolt. Then we're going to use that oily rag assembly to clean up the drain bolt area where the old oil is draining down. We'll wipe that off, make sure there's no oil, and we're going to quickly reinstall the bolt. I'm going to make sure to um, do that finger tight, get it threaded in there. We're going to wipe down the area around it one more time. Move the drain tray out of the way. Now we're gonna use the torque wrench to torque the bolt down to 18 foot-pounds. Set your torque wrench to a lower setting and then go ahead and torque that drain bolt. Don't overdo it. It's an aluminum engine. You can actually destroy the engine if you drain that, if you over torque that. So just 18 foot-pounds. Put the tools away. I wipe down the torque wrench. This was my father's torque wrench. It's from Sears. It's American made. It's a nice model. This is the oil recycling jug. We're going to set it up on the newspaper in case we trip. Give that uh, pipe a wipe down. There's some oil on the pipe that got on there during the tipping procedure. Open up this oil jug and use an oil funnel. This is a dirty oil funnel. I'm going to transfer all of that spent motor oil. This motor oil is with the clutch, so it gets funky quickly. Uh, I recommend changing it more often, especially if you're going to ride the Grom on the freeway and peg the throttle wide open and try to go freeway speeds. It burns up the oil pretty quickly. I've been doing it every 200 miles. I know that's a little overkill, but uh, it's good engine protection. Um, I might extend the service interval uh, if I stay away from the freeway. Um, peak fuel economy for the Grom occurs at 35 miles per hour, which is around 4 to 5,000 RPM in fourth gear. Uh, that's where you're going to get the 130 miles per gallon uh, on a level surface with reasonably warm air. I wipe down the old funnel here to just clean it up. I haven't done that in a while. I right, close up the old recycling jug. When that fills up, I take it to my local auto parts store and 
I try to wipe my gloves in between stages to keep my gloves clean. We're gonna remove the drain bolt, or the uh, dipstick assembly and wipe it off. Um, technically, you're supposed to check that. I use a clean funnel when I add new oil. Uh, you unscrew the cap from the clean funnel and put it in the filler port, and then take the back cap off. That back cap keeps gunk, those two caps keep gunk out of the oily funnel. It's always oily, so it's just used to add clean oil to engines. This is a Honda GN4 oil. It's about seven or eight dollars a quart, I forget. Um, we're gonna add the new oil uh, slowly, though I time lapse this. You have to go slow or it'll, it, to, for the funnel to drain into the filler correctly. So you're done with that, go ahead and cap the bottle. I'm gonna save the bottle for measuring out oil from a larger container, a gallon. If you buy it in larger quantities, it's less expensive. I'm gonna take the clean funnel out and apply the rear cap like this. Tipping it like that makes sure it doesn't drip. I actually did drip one drip. I'm gonna wipe off the dipstick one more time and then tighten it into its spot. That's about it. Now we just gotta clean up, wrap up the old gunk, your gloves, and then throw it away. You're done.